Hey guys, before we begin, I would like to say in this story that you are 16 and so is Kokichi. Ever since you was younger, you never felt right in your body. Every time you looked in the mirror, it felt like something was just completely off. Early in your teen years, you decided that you wanted to become a boy. You decided to start dressing like one, wearing a binder that hides your chest area, making it look more flatter. You actually felt comfortable in your skin for once. You even started cutting your hair. Your mother noticed these changes and confirmed you about it. You told her exactly how you feel, but she dismissed it, saying that it was just a phase and you'll get over it. But over time, you never did. No matter how hard she just pushed girl clothes on you, always buying you new dresses, always taking you to get your hair done, but you always refused. You appreciate your mother doing these things for you. But you didn't like that she was just pushing you to be something that you didn't want to be. And because of this, a lot of arguments conspired. And a lot of times, you would get mad enough that you would slam the door, storm out of your house, and go over to, Koki to Kokichi's. Of course, you never told him the real reason about your arguments. He always made up some dumb excuse. Kokichi knew there were excuses, but he knew that you wouldn't lie to him for no reason. So he just pretended to go along with it. It was another day and you got into another fight with your mother, as usual. You, you grabbed your bag and slammed the door. And you stormed off to Kokichi's house that wasn't too far, only a good four blocks away. You knocked on his door and he answered, Oh hey listener, <laughs> are you here to see me? Of course Kokichi, who else? You said, rolling your eyes and letting yourself in. Listener, serious question. Why do you always come over here more often? Ugh, because my mom's being a total pain in the ass, you said, rolling your eyes and sitting yourself on Kokichi's couch. Listener, I know you've been lying to me, he said, sitting down next to you, your eyes widen in shock. What? What do you mean? I know you haven't been fighting your mother for some stupid reasons. Come on, I'm a liar myself. I should be the ultimate supreme liar. I know when someone's telling the truth and when someone's lying. And you have been lying to me. Now, come on, tell a little Kokichi. He said, poking your sides, making you giggle. I already told you, Kokichi, it's nothing. Come on, listener. Don't you want to tell a little me? <laughs> Why are you guys being so mean to me? How you all these secrets? You know she was about to burst into fake tears, but nonetheless, she still felt guilty. Fine, fine. But it's just a serious topic. I can be serious when I want to be, he said, putting his hands on his hips. Now tell me. Well, you see that lately my mom and I have been getting in fights with each other because, well, I want to be a boy. You said, looking away shyly, waiting for his reaction. Oh, is all he said before going silent. Well, sure. You looked at him with surprise. That's it? That's all you're going to say? No why, how, just sure? Of course, listener. I trust your decision. Plus, it's your own body. I can't do nothing about it. I can't stop you. It's your life. As long as you're not doing anything truly terrible, but of course if you are, you can always count me in, he said smirking. He chuckled softly. Thanks, Kokichi. Anyways, I was wondering, can I come over to your house? Uh, I don't know. My mom doesn't really like you that much. Uh-huh. He looked at his face. He sighed. Fine. Later on that weekend, you you invited him over for dinner. Your parent, you were sitting at the table with Kokichi, you, and your mom. Eventually, your mom was starting to piss off Kokichi. Every time she talked about you, she used, she turns instead of he turns. You expressed to her over and over again that you want to be called, you want to use the pronouns as he, or dumb, he or they. Sorry, I messed up. 
but she refusedly used the she or her. Every time she did this, Koichi corrected her. Sorry, ma'am, to interrupt you, he said in a sarcastic voice. But it's he, not she, he said. Your mom looked irritated but kept talking. Well, she, it's he. Eventually, these two were just staring at each other across the table. The tension was so thick it could cut it with a butter knife. Hashtag amazing jumbo. I'm making more of a jumbo reference. C- come on, Ki- Kokichi, let's go. You better get this rat out of my house, your mother said. Mom, don't call him that. He's just offending me. At least he has more respect for me than you do. Whatever. Your mom just sighed. Come on, listener. Let's go out for a little bit. You are not going anywhere with him. Your mom said, turning around. What do you mean? Young lady, get back here. No. First of all, is young man, Kokichi said. And second of all, she's coming with, they're coming with me. No, they are not. The man looked at you sternly. Come back here, now. You looked at her dead in her face and shook her, and shook your head. You walked out with Kokichi. And as he was about to step out the door, your mother turned to you and yelled, If you step out that door, you are not welcome back. You you sighed and let go of Kokichi's hand, leaving him surprised. You walked upstairs, and you packed the bag. Then I'm not coming back, he said. You hold Kokichi's hand as you guys walked outside. Your, your angry facade broke, and you started breaking out into tears. You literally had just moved out with your mother, but she didn't respect you one bit. Come on, listener. Don't cry. I hate seeing you cry. It, it'll make me cry, Kokichi said, using his funny face. You chuckled. Thanks for supporting me, Kokichi. You really are the best. I know, Kokichi said. Now come on, get your behind to my house. I'm gonna make you. I will. We can order dinner, and we can have whatever you want. Really? Nope, he said. And we're having what I want. But maybe I'll get you what you want just a little bit, he said, chuckling. All right, all right, Kokichi, I'm coming. He said, following him down the street back to his house. Hey, guys, sorry this one was kind of messy. So you see that uh, I did have a script. I did make a script for this one. But you see, I have a little brother, so, you know, the script is gone. Anyway, sorry this video took so long. I was sick. Like I said in my recent post, I still am sick, but I'm feeling just a little bit better just to post this. But anyway, so I took enough of your guys' time. Have a great day or night, wherever you guys are, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.